Hey, when you're searching for a home, the last thing I want to tell you to do is compromise on your needs and wants list. But let's face it, every homeowner, no matter your budget, ends up compromising a little bit. And the thing I want to talk to you about today, especially if you're a home buyer that's out there and you know maybe you're in a competitive price point or maybe you're not quite the squeaky clean shiny you know ideal buyer that uh, that a home seller is looking for right maybe you have a smaller down payment or you just don't look as great on paper well one of the areas that you may want to compromise in isn't your needs on size or you know uh, location things that are fundamentally very important to you and your home but you might want to compromise on aesthetics. Those are the homes, the homes that maybe don't show quite as well, the homes that maybe need just a little bit of aesthetic updating, the homes that other buyers really aren't incredibly excited about, uh, but in a good neighborhood and, and in the location that you want and has the right size that you want, you might be able to get a better deal on a home like that. We just worked with a client recently that, you know, they bought a home in a premier neighborhood perfect size home for them but it had some of the things that they just didn't love like popcorn ceilings you know the paint was terrible uh, in their for their taste there was a little bit of wallpaper there was you know there were some things that they needed to do or they wanted to do in order to really make it their own but because those things existed they didn't have a ton of competition didn't have a bunch of home buyers that were also putting in offers and bidding up the price. Those guys were actually able to not only buy the home for just a touch, they ended up having to pay a little bit above asking price. However, they ended up getting a credit back towards some of their closing costs, which is crazy in this seller's market. So my, my, uh, my encouragement to, or you know, one tip or strategy that I would encourage you to do if you're out there looking to buy a home and if you're thinking about maybe making a compromise, before you compromise on size, location, um, you know, uh, budget, right? Stretch your budget beyond your means. Before you do those things, maybe consider compromising on aesthetics. Figure out a financial plan. There's three things that you can do uh, to, you know, make it work for you. One purchase below your budget. It's a pretty common sense thing. If you watch any level uh, or any different shows on HGTV, you know that purchasing below your budget uh, it, uh, can help in terms of adding money into renovations. How do you do that? Well, there's a home equity line of credit that you can do. And in many cases, you can finance part of the renovations in your purchase, right? It's a little bit tough to pull off, but if you don't have a whole lot of competition right now, Home sellers might be willing to do that, uh, like a, a renovation loan. Um, and then three, you know, just good old fashioned like cash. Uh, if you maybe the property that you're interested in, let's say is six hundred thousand, and you know you only really have uh, you have your down payment money, you have your money towards closing costs, but rather than pay all of your money towards closing costs, you ask the seller to credit you back some money you get to hold on to that, keep your cash, and use that cash towards fixing up the property instead. So you still end up financing all of your 600,000, maybe even finance a little bit more, but you ask the seller to credit you back towards your closing costs, you save that money from your closing costs, you get your lender to kick in a little bit, uh, uh, do a lender credit, you take a slightly higher interest rate, you save cash, and then you're able to take that cash and do the renovations that you want. So that's one of the main things that I'm suggesting to clients that are maybe just feeling a little bit fatigued, a little bit discouraged, that they're not able to get the, the home that they want. Start looking for just a little bit uglier home that you can make your own if you get creative with your offer strategy. So hope that's helpful. Don't compromise on your size that you need. Don't compromise on your must. Don't compromise on your budget or in your location, especially. First, compromise on aesthetics.